245 years ago, our founders began a bold experiment in liberty. Since then, America has grown to span a continent and served as a beacon of democracy for oppressed people around the world. Today, as we celebrate our nation's proud heritage, let's remember in particular the heroic men and women who've made it all possible. Freedom isn't free. So as you gather with family and friends and reflect on a challenging year, let's all give thanks for the brave Americans and Kentuckians who have served and sacrificed to preserve our sacred liberties. And let's never forget how incredibly blessed we are to live in the greatest country the world has ever Happy Fourth of July. You know, the historian John Meacham uh, said that perhaps the most uh, important words ever written originally in English are these, all men are created equal. The words of the Declaration of Independence and the foundation of this country uh, changed the entire world. It said government is not there for the king, the pharaoh, the feudal lord. The government is there for the people. It is a nation founded upon the principle that all men are created equal in the eyes of their creator. I don't know that, that we uh, sufficiently appreciate not only the brilliance of the founders, uh, but their courage. To write a document based upon principles that were uh, uh, revolutionary, but they also uh, considered revolution uh, that would put their own lives in jeopardy. A handful of individuals came together and shaped the course of history for America, but also for many other nations which adopted the principles of our founding documents. And so as we look at the challenges we face today, sometimes I think we have to recognize that individual leaders can have an enormous impact. And whether that's the leader in a home, a leader in a church, in a school, in a company, in a country, those people who are given the responsibility of leadership really can have an influence that goes well beyond just the one or two people that they may be talking to. It may be an influence that shapes uh, societies for years to come. Hey y'all, Senator Jim Scott here. Happy Fourth of July to everyone. As many of you spend the day celebrating, cooking out with your family, watching the fireworks with other loved ones, let us remember the significance of today. Let us remember our founding fathers and the Declaration of Independence, which gave birth to our beloved nation. Regardless of one's background or upbringing, America is abundant in opportunity. The land of the free and the home of the brave. Ours is a nation united by a common ideal, our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Regardless of one's skin color or ideology, there's no doubt we have endured much as a young nation, yet without struggle, there is no progress. Today, let's honor those old and young, far and near, who embody what it means to be an American. Have a great 4th of July, and God bless. On this day in 1776, the Declaration of Independence was adopted. This moment in history launched America on her journey to becoming the greatest nation on the face of the planet and inspired other countries to chart a path toward democracy. The principles of freedom, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness our founding fathers envisioned for America continue to endure today. But we must remember they did not come without a price. Today, as we celebrate the birth of our nation, May we recognize the selfless service of the Iowans and Americans who have fought for our nation in uniform. After serving in the armed forces for over 23 years, I'm thankful for all the men and women who've answered the call to protect our great country and the liberties we cherish. May God bless these brave heroes and may God bless America. Happy Independence Day. I'd like to wish all Hoosiers a safe, happy, and patriotic 4th of July. This nation founded 245 years ago today is exceptional. The American experiment 245 years in the making is alive and well. This one nation under God continues to lead and set a shining example for good in the world. I'm so proud to call the United States of America home. 
As we join with our friends, neighbors, and loved ones this year, let us not forget that we're able to celebrate because of the sacrifices made by so many throughout our history. Happy July 4th, Hoosiers. Well, happy Independence Day to all. We are we're celebrating around the state, whether it's fireworks down in, in southeastern, whether it is parades up north, whether it's the unique ways that we come together, maybe it's just an outdoor barbecue. I think we are ready to come together as, as Alaskans. We're ready to come together as, as Americans. We've had a, a long, tough year last year. And so being able to, to, to be together in, in, in celebration is something that I think we all embrace. But I think it's also important to recognize that these freedoms that we have, this extraordinary country that we are blessed to call home, it doesn't come without sacrifice. So in the midst of all the celebration, time with family, time with friends, let us not forget, let us not forget the price of freedom. So as we, as we celebrate Independence Day, just remember, be safe, be strong, be sound. Take care. You know, as I reflect on this year's Independence Day celebration, um, I'm, I'm grateful for lots of things, and, and, and particularly the things that freedom brings. The scripture tells us that it is for freedom Christ set us free. Isn't that interesting, that it's freedom itself that's the reward? And I think sometimes in, the, you know, in recent history, we've sort of forgotten how special our liberty is, our, our form of self-governed government really is. But it's also, I think, highlighted just how very, very special American liberty is. So on this 4th of July, I'm, I'm grateful as always for those founding fathers, for the men and women who fought in the very first war, the Revolutionary War, who stood up for the people and created a federalism system with states. And most of all, I think about the men and women in uniform since the Revolutionary War who have stood in the gap for our liberty and frankly, who fought and died for the liberty of people everywhere. So on this 4th of July, as we celebrate the holiday with our friends and family, doing whatever it is we're doing, you know, I'd like us to, to really reflect on the cost and to reflect on how we celebrate liberty the other 364 days of the year. And my advice would be live like free people. Thank you. Happy 4th of July. God bless you. 245 years ago today, our brave, bold, and brilliant founding fathers took a stand against oppression and tyranny to reclaim freedom as they valiantly declared independence for America. That momentous proclamation awakened and ushered forth freedom and patriotism in what would become the greatest nation in the world. The indelible ringing of that Liberty Bell catalyzed an American people dedicated to the preservation of life liberty and the pursuit of happiness that we still vow to protect today. As you celebrate with friends and loved ones, and as you look to those renowned and revered stars and stripes, remember the patriots who fought to uphold our liberty. The ones who dug trenches, stormed beaches, flew planes into battle, and steered ships toward the fight. Remember the reason our sacred union has prevailed. And remember that we live in a nation of boundless opportunity, the unrivaled land of the free, and the greatest country on earth. Happy Independence Day, and may God bless America. Happy birthday, America. This is one of my favorite days of the year. Between the barbecues and the fireworks, I'm reminded about what it means to be free. Not just free from a British king some 2,000 miles away. As Americans, we are free to pursue our dreams, free to practice our faith, and despite the ill-fated efforts of the elites, we are free to live our lives without an oppressive government trying to control our every thought. After the year we've all had, this Independence Day should hold special meaning. We can never take our freedoms for granted. We have to treasure it and defend it each and every day. Happy Fourth of July. Hi, I'm Congressman Steve Scalise, and I'm proud to wish you a happy Independence Day. For nearly 250 years, we've been celebrating America's independence. In this July 4th, we're seeing more places open. We're going to hopefully see a lot more fireworks displays than we did last year. 
But we got to continue to remember that this is the greatest nation in the history of the world. For all those people that still want to knock America, I am proud to stand up for our flag. I'm proud of what America represents, and I'll continue fighting to make sure that this remains the greatest nation in the history of the world. Happy Fourth of July.